What's the most important thing you think you've learned from your dad in, in this business? Oh my gosh, he's so smart. He's actually like way smarter than I ever gave him credit for. <laughs> I think that's so, most kids, but your dad is also very smart. He too, actually so. is really smart yeah. though. <laughs> um, the thing that I've learned would be just like the hardworking. He never, and we're very similar. So there were some years as a teenager that we butted heads. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to be fair, we still do. <laughs> like we do, but respectfully now before I was like my dad, I'm like, you know, 16 and angry. Uh, but we're, it's because we're so similar. We're very mm -hmm. hard headed. We're very stubborn and we have big personalities and we like to like joke and push limits a little bit. So just the hardworking aspect I never really saw him slow down and mm. stop like that. He always had goals that he wanted to attain, which I love that you're always just doing your best. You're never, you know, doing like, if you're not going to do it all the way, don't do it type mm. thing. Um, and I think just being really respectful to people like he, I watched him, whatever you think our line was. I mean, now your lines are to Mars and back, but like, his lines to meet him and just to say hi and grown men would start crying. I mean, again, I know you're mm -hmm. used to this, but 10 years ago, that was like, he was really the only one that had that. Like yeah. it was kind of him and no one. And so he would stay there. I mean, I'd be bored out of my mind after as like a 20 year old and like, okay, can we go get dinner? And he would stay there for hours and give every ounce of attention to every single person that came to the line because he's like, they might've driven eight hours to yeah. say hi for 30 seconds. And if that's the one person that you were ignoring because you're talking about going for dinner, like they will remember that for their right. whole life and they'll probably tell everyone and suddenly you're like the worst person. So just like working hard, doing what you love and just giving people time, mm -hmm. I think, and showing, you know, they let, they're letting us have this career, you know, yeah. and this job and this lifestyle. Like it's not because no. they have to be there. <laughs> they have to be interested in what we're doing and you kind of can't be an a-hole. Right. And expect them to stick around. I, yeah. This isn't, yeah, we, we need, I mean, that's why we're valuable to companies. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that. But I think, you know, you saying that your dad being an outfitter from day one, basically, that's such hard work. Outfitters work their, at, the successful ones, the ones who stay around, mm -hmm. work their asses off and get a, a not much fanfare. You know, a lot yeah. of times the hunters will go, the outfitters kind of like, who was that outfitter again? The hunters, <laughs> the glory. So your dad coming up, grinding for years. And then I, I read his articles 30 years ago. He was always one of my favorite writers in the back page of North American Hunter magazine. He had shock therapy or something like that. But yeah, I was like, God, this guy... This guy can write. He is so, you, I mean, you, you're going to get his book. He told yeah. me, he said, Cam's getting it. I'm sending it. So it's called Call Me Hunter. And it, we were talking about it earlier. I read it and it, mm -hmm. my brain was just like exploding from all angles because it's so good. And I knew he was smart and I knew he's a good writer. And I guess he just really put those two things together and ran with it. And his book's going to be awesome. But it's just, it's nice to see him because once again, he's always said if he was ever a janitor, he'd mm -hmm. be the very best janitor. Like it doesn't matter what he does. He wants to be the best at it, which <laughs> I don't know if you can, mm -hmm. if you guys have that in common. <laughs> well, <laughs> he, he, he is so good, so well-spoken and, and articulate. He can, like whatever side of the argument you want to argue, he can, I don't know, combat it or he, I don't know. He just has a great... Uh, manipulate it. Imagine being his teenage daughter. <laughs> well, I couldn't win a single I argument. Not. I still can. And when we start arguing, I'm like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> do, you, do you know, I've, I've even learned, well, more than one thing from your dad. One of it is, well, I used to wear a bandana like your dad did, but, uh, and I think you did today too. But, um, one thing I'll never forget. And it was something about, I, I remembered this because it kind of flipped a switch for me about my value in the industry, but we were at a meeting in Under Armour and they were talking about this line and he was there and Kip was there. And it's like, this is when hunting was blowing up at Under mm -hmm. Armour. And he said, he goes, well, he goes, you know what? He goes, you know what I'm concerned with? RFJ. Do you know what this means? We were just texting about this <laughs> really? today. Yes. He Here's, goes, RFJ. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, he goes, revenue for Jim. <laughs> so, it's like, it's great that the company makes money, yeah. but hey. But if you believe in it, you're like, okay, I'm actually doing good things. Yeah. So, you know, like, but yeah, I'm going to have to make money because that's what like people are like, oh, you're taking payment. And you're like, well, if you go 
do if you're a plumber and you go do a job, yeah. you're not gonna be like, you know what? I love toilets, so I'm gonna do this one for free. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do love. Me. It's I mean, my I don't want to. Yeah, I love the outdoors, but like, you know, pay your bills. But my dad and I were just talking about that because he said, let Cam know I sent him the ARC, like the advanced reader copy. And I wrote back and I said, what's the RFE today? And we haven't said that in years. Oh. It was just so funny you bring that up. And yeah. he started laughing. I'll like never he f- taught me to do well because I, what's it called? The the student became the teacher. Oh, right. <laughs> Is exactly. That the one? Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that was it, I guess, because I don't know. It, it's, I'll just never forget that. And that was years ago. 